Ole Miss defeated Arkansas 52 to 51 and what has to be the leading favorite for a game of the year. There were a lot of momentum swings. There were a lot of big runs. Arkansas went on a big run when it seemed like they were going to be unstoppable. Ole Miss went on a big run during this game. And for Arkansas, okay, KJ Jefferson balled out in this game. He had six total touchdowns, 350 um, total rushing yards on the ground for Arkansas as a team. K.J. Jefferson accounted for 85 of those. He had three touchdowns on the ground, three passing touchdowns to one pick. Like, K.J. Jefferson was a man amongst boys, and I really feel like K.J. Jefferson does deserve to be in the Heisman discussion from how he's played so far this year. He's definitely been one of the three best quarterbacks in the SEC conference this season, in my opinion. But you look at what Ole Miss did offensively, Offensively, and I was really impressed with how well Ole Miss played inside of you know their offense when it came to the off the line because their off the line was a big question mark that I had going into this game because I felt like Arkansas was the better team up front on both the offense side of the ball and the defense side of the football and Ole Miss dominated Arkansas for the most part in the trenches and they had 350 rushing yards Arkansas did but Ole Miss had 324 rushing yards as a team including what Matt Corral did on the ground he was really good 94 rushing yards two rushing touchdowns he also threw two touchdowns through the air and threw for 287 pass yards so Matt Corral had a phenomenal day but when you look at the box score in this game you're probably going to say Arkansas should have won because they had more first downs than Ole Miss 39 first downs the 22 first downs they ran more plays than Ole Miss 93 to 70 and they held the ball longer than Ole Miss 35 minutes and 35 seconds to Ole Miss only having the ball for 24 minutes and um 25 seconds so Really, everybody's going to, you know, judge this game based on, you know, Sam Pittman's decision to go for the win instead of playing for overtime. Listen, I have no problem with him going forward in that situation to win the game. Okay, and a lot of Arkansas fans didn't really seem that upset about his decision to go for it. The thing that a lot of Razorback fans were upset with was by their officer coordinator and Bryles deciding to go for for the play call that he did he did a roll he did like a rollout play with KJ Jefferson and there were some people who were going back and forth with me on Twitter about the play call saying that when you roll out at that side of the area you know it gives you a better chance to run the pass with your quarterback and I definitely understand that but when you're inside the red zone especially when everything's condensed I don't really think a roll a rollout play if your quarterback is the best situation because you got to remember when you're rolling now you're basically cutting off the other half of the wide receivers who you have running on the opposite side so basically you only have about one or two wide receivers who you can throw the football to and maybe the running back and then the option for your quarterback to run so I don't really feel like a rollout play was the best scenario especially when you had so much success running the football against Ole Miss Arkansas was averaging over six yards per carry every time they ran the ball against that Ole Miss Rebels defense so it didn't really make a lot of sense to just abandon that you know it probably would have made more sense to run it with a quarterback quarterback power with KJ Jefferson maybe you run a quarterback draw through the middle or hell maybe you just decide to just try to throw the football with a different pass play other than that rollout play but that rollout play wasn't really a great play call but overall you know Arkansas's offensive coordinator has been pretty good so far this year you know but sometimes I feel like good offensive coordinators just try to overthink things in time and they just try to get too cute instead of just trying to punch it in and do what works and we see that a lot of times in football you have a guy who is a great play caller but in some situations you know he'll try to overthink things and try to be the smartest guy in the room and I kind of felt like that's what happened with Arkansas and another thing is that Arkansas's defense I feel has definitely been exploited and they run a 3-3-5 defense. And remind you, they have three down linemen and three linebackers. And I was telling Arkansas fans this, and a lot of Arkansas fans disagree with this. And I said, listen, what's hurting Arkansas is the fact that their linebackers are not fast enough to cover edge. If you're going to have three linebackers, they're going to have to be able to set the edge. And what we saw against Georgia last week, they failed to do that. And they also failed to do that this week. And it's not like Arkansas is getting gas running up the middle they're getting gas running 
towards you know the sidelines or running outside zone plays and things like that they're not getting crushed up the middle a lot of the damage when it comes to run defense of Arkansas is being done outside of the tackles versus being in between the tackles and that's a big reason when it comes to running that 3-3-5 defense because you got to have linebackers who have the speed to be able to get outside and cover that edge and for Arkansas I don't really think they have linebackers who are that fast enough or that athletic enough to be able to cover those edges that seems to be their problem so you're not going to change your scheme midway through the season or whatnot but I just feel like that's really interesting because I was telling people that's kind of what happens when you run a 3-3-5 defense the 3-3-5 defense is more geared towards stopping the pass and limiting big passing plays versus what it is when it comes to stopping the run because if you're going to have three down linemen and three linebackers you're going to have to make sure they're going to be able to get out and contain the edge and that's something that Arkansas has had a hard time doing this year is setting the edge and it's a big reason why they lost this game against Ole Miss and allowed over 300 rushing yards to Ole Miss it's another big reason why Georgia has so much success running a football against um, this Arkansas defense because those linebackers aren't athletic enough and they're not quick enough to get out to the edge and stop these running backs and it's also asking a lot of your defensive ends to be able to try to set the edge as well so for Arkansas I definitely feel like their defense is starting to get figured out that Barry Odom defense and he's going to have to to go out and try to make some changes and he's a really good defensive coordinator you know he's pretty real respected he has a pretty good track record but he's definitely going to have to make some alterations right now because you're going against Auburn this coming weekend with Tank Bigsby and Bo Nick so if you continue to struggle setting the edge then Auburn is probably going to gas you as well in the run game and over the last couple of weeks for Arkansas it really hasn't been all that pretty and you got to ask yourself the question has luck run right now for Arkansas I don't really think so. There were a lot of people saying Arkansas finally was what we what we knew they were. Like, no, they're not. Like, I think it's kind of stupid and idiotic to say that Arkansas was just lucky. Like, you don't beat two ranked teams inside the top 25. You got to remember, they beat Texas A&M. This is the same Texas A&M team that just defeated the best team, well, at the time, the number one team in college football in Alabama. This is the same team that beat Texas earlier on in the season a Texas team that is really good this year that's probably going to end up winning nine maybe ten games this year so I mean like I don't really think it's luck I just think that Arkansas has reached a point in their schedule that is really tough and everybody knew that Arkansas most likely wasn't going to go undefeated this was a really tough schedule that Arkansas had one of the toughest in all of college football maybe the toughest in college football especially when you look at their brutal stretch that they have right now in October you already had to play Georgia then you have to play Ole Miss. Now you have to play Auburn. Like these are three of some of the best teams in all of college football that they had to play. So it's only a matter of time before they started having a couple of losses and a couple of games not go their way. But really, when I look at this Arkansas team, man, like this Arkansas team is competing. It's not like they're getting blown out. Like I said, like I tell people, like Arkansas is a better team than what their record may indicate. And if the ball would have bounced in their direction in their favor, they probably could have won this game against Ole Miss. But there were a lot of things that, you know, wasn't really going their way. They didn't really have a good time stopping the run. Their defense kind of hasn't really been there for them over the last couple of weeks, man. And I really think it's that, you know, the vulnerability of that 3-3-5 defense. So they're going to have to make sure that they're going to find a better way to stop the run, make sure that they can find a better way to set the edge. Maybe you have to put a safety closer to the line of scrimmage to help out with that I don't really know but for Arkansas man like I don't really feel like luck has run out for Arkansas I just really feel like Arkansas is now starting to get caught up now with how tough their schedule is like they have a gruesome schedule so I was expecting this to happen you know I still thought that they would have been able to get the win over Ole Miss because I felt like there was a favorable matchup up front I didn't think that Ole Miss would have ended up playing well as what they did in the trenches but Ole Miss played a really good ball game man 
and you got to give them a lot of kudos for that. But for Arkansas, I don't really think luck is running out. I just feel like, you know, their difficulty of schedule is now finally catching up to them. This is still a team that's more than capable of being able to win eight, maybe nine games this year, but this is still it's a really tough schedule, okay? And you still got to play Alabama this year, so things are only going to get a lot tougher here, but I really feel like Arkansas is still going to end up having a pretty good season. I'm still pretty high on this Arkansas football team.